before we get into the video guys as you know we are on the road to 1 million subscribers and i just wanted to say thank you so much for all the support so far on our road to 1 mil because we're currently at 854 ish thousand subscribers which is ridiculous and we are within 150k of our goal so we need around like 2k subs a day to reach before the end of the year comfortably so if you guys do want to help me along that road please make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you enjoy my content i appreciate y'all much love enjoy the video yo what is up guys could be playing some more games today with garrett g and aj let's get straight into it let's see if we can get some dubs let's see how it goes all right for the first game in the video we're playing it's a full team so we'll see how it goes they are high mmr players i do recognize all of them they're all like 2.2k mmr i want to say so a pretty solid lobby had a nice speed flip kickoff there aj won it well though i just followed up on the cheat i like to save my boost on the cheat because you can get a free goal if you position properly on it. It's a big thing to focus on. Focusing on your, your positioning in threes is one of the biggest things. You don't need crazy good mechanics to be a very good threes player. It's the honest truth of it, you don't. But if you do have really good mechanics and you mix that with being a very smart player, that's gonna make you you know, the next level of good. So you gotta focus on being smart and using your mechanics properly. Having them in your Arsenal to pull out whenever you want. Those are the two biggest things. A little bit awkward, but I gotta do my floating technique that I talked about in the training pack video. That is one of the most useful things when there's those awkward bounces coming down. You can get a good touch to the corner. That was good. AJ's touch wasn't exactly what he wanted. I think he was gonna try to pitch that forward, but ended up just passing off the wall to them. And then they got a perfect top corner shot that was a really good shot from them well played can't do much to stop a shot coming in that hot got the bump on them didn't get the ball there guess gonna go alone here it looks like gonna have one more so I just wait it's fine bumped into AJ a little bit kind of messed me up but I should have left it for him, and he should have left it for me. One of the two, we both kind of just try to take it from each other because we didn't know each other were there, I think. He's going to get the bump, maybe. I was there just in case Garrett can get the bump. Try to get one more here. Couldn't quite. That would have been a good touch. But I got their boost. Next best thing. Okay, I couldn't tell if he had that or not. It's a very risky pre-jump, but it kind of worked. Try to follow this. Pop mid, go for one more. That's fine. It's going to be out to Garrett anyway. They're not going to get anything too good off of this. It's going to be a free ball for us and probably a counter attack here. Get one more off that. I did not think he'd miss, dude. The calculated fakes, the whiffs, they're too strong. These days, I swear, whiffing is better than hitting the ball. It's crazy the way the game evolves into just being with it league wait for AJ what the heck I can't read anything that's happening in this game but it's okay it's one of those games where just nothing makes any sense I'm just gonna fake here no point in going for that they just have it first same about this situation just wait Try to follow it up after the fact. Not a bad play from AJ. They all wait left wall. It's fine. Pass middle. Two went. This is huge. Massive for us. AJ plays this smart. There we go. Yeah, that double commit was, was huge. You got to capitalize on those situations. AJ saw Garrett. I knew Garrett saw me. It was a good play. It was just a little bit too fast for them to deal with. I think I'm gonna try to play a little bit slower because I'm having trouble reading what's happening in this game, so it might help a bit if I just slow down the pace of the game. Instead of just assuming what's gonna happen before it happens, trying to be too quick, trying to read too far in the future. Just gonna leave that there now. 
Can't do much, but hit it to my teammates, so that's what I want. Unlucky, though. Not what Garrett wanted on the back wall, but it's okay. That's a good play to make, because it gives Garrett a free ball if you can just hit it across, but I think he tried to dribble it and didn't get a touch he wanted at all, and the guy was still there to read it. But if he gets that to the corner, AJ's there for a free dribble. Um, if he doesn't hit it to the corner and he gets a good dribble, then he has full ball control. There's no downside to letting him have that ball win on the wall. It's a good play. He got two goals out of out of one. That tends to happen a lot in threes if they get a good kickoff off a of, you know quick capitalization before. It's all on the the kickoff being good on them. Kickoff isn't all random. Pass the Garrett. Nice. That was a good play. Slowed down while on the wall. Fake the first guy. Took my time. I got a good touch over him to my teammate. There we go. All tied up again. Solid squad we're playing against. Like I said, these guys did make um, RLCS recently. The, the Swiss stage. Not bad by any means. Nice. I'll be waiting on the right side. Can't go for that. I'm like, here we go. Gonna be a shot and the goal. He will not miss those from that range. Not often, at least. That was a bang. That was a really good shot. Wait, right side here. I like to just hold on to my boost on these. I think Gary went for a fake or something. I like the idea. Almost didn't work, so I wasn't quite ready. But yeah, grabbing corner boost on those kickoffs, I like to just hold on to the boost. Turn toward, toward your goal so you're safe and just hold on to your boost. So two things you have to focus on doing on those. What a dunk. I get this boost, it's huge. Oh, uh, imagine the double reset there. Would have been perfect. Would have been a sight to see. Thought I saw AJ creeping right side there. Probably shouldn't have just passed, assuming, but I did see him, I think. Don't think I'm going completely crazy. I'll wait back here. AJ has it on the wall anyway. I'm just gonna wait. Wait middle. It's fine. He could have had a touch there, so it's good to just wait in case. That would have been passed to Garrett. Probably a goal as well, but good first game of the video. Let's get into the next one, see if we can keep it up. It's probably gonna be the same people which I don't mind because it'll be intense games and it'll be good content for you guys to watch and learn from. So let's get into the next one, see if we can keep it up. Let go, let go. All right, playing against the same team for the last game of the video. Let's get into it. See if we can end off on a dub here. We can get the back-to-back. -back. I'm not gonna go for that. I gotta go back in case. Try to control this to the corner. Good dunk, over two of them. Got a good fake there. Made them all leave. Pass to Garrett. There we go. Nice little soft pass over to Garrett there. I try to make sure AJ knew it would be over his head. Like I didn't want AJ to misunderstand that it was for Garrett. You know what I mean? I don't want him to try to go for that and mess up Garrett or mess up the play in general. That was good of him to leave. It was smart of him to recognize the situation. It's a hard thing to recognize that quickly. Rocket League is a very quick, fast paced game, right? So you have to be really quick and on the ball comes to spotting out plays like that. A little bit of lag, I guess. That's uh, interesting. Oh, it's the whole server. <laughs> I think it's back. Yeah, we all just lagged, I think. Also, we would have probably been there. I don't know what was happening. But anyway. It's good of them to cut it off. Went forward here. The pass down to AJ, not quite what I wanted. I ceiling pinched it. Gotta get better at passing those weird ones there. I don't know if I got the shot on target. What just happened? I don't know what just happened. I won't lie to you. I was about to shoot this on goal. I got killed. You know, it's like left man. It's a little risky, but I trust Garrett. 
in this spot here. He's pretty good at controlling these. And it's better to take that, that mid boost from them for future plays moving forward. It's going to mess them up for at least the next 10 seconds. If I take that boost. Nice from Garrett. It's fine. Good win. That was a huge win because I died. If I if I didn't die there, it might have actually been a goal. I would have been able to follow that up. A huge read from AJ. I haven't had to do anything this game, man. Tiffy's playing really well. That was a really big 50 from Garrett. And AJ just read the fake. You can't fake out ones, players, man. AJ's good at ones. You're not going to be able to fake them out on those, I swear. That's where that, that one's experience comes into play. Everyone fakes now on the ground, in those grounded plays. So knowing when to go for those straight up challenges is huge. I don't know what's happening in this game, dude. I haven't had to do anything. Oh, the double jump down, good control, and then just a shot. That was nice. All right, I have to do one more. That was too quick, right? I just have to do one more. Way too fast of a game, I think. One more, and that'll be the last one. Hopefully, it's them again. Let's get into it, though. See if we can get the dub. All right, playing against the same team for the third time again because they're the closest MMR to us. That's expected. Let's play smart. Let's make some good plays this game. Nothing stupid. I'm going to go for this. Try to control this. It's good. Perfect for AJ. I can wait here. Garrett's gonna control. Pretty much like now, especially in threes, you wanna make every challenge or like every play you go for be able to be followed up by teammates. So every single challenge pretty much should be like an attempted bait for your teammates to get the ball next. That's pretty much the whole point of rotation in threes, to have someone behind you at all times. So like here, I'm the third man until Garrett is back. And now that he's back, I'm trying to just get the ball to him the easiest way possible. Like I don't have to flip into that and give them the ball, right? I might as well give my team the ball. It's the best possible play to make there. One's gonna be up. Try to get the double jump pop in there. I can take their boost. And then I can rotate back to be third man. So I just saw a spider on my screen, I thought. So I got a little scared there. <laughs> Stop talking. Man, I hate spiders. What the hell? I don't know, I hate that sword. I just got a double. I'm gonna keep it in. Two went. I killed the third. There we go. I don't know what that touch was, dude. Before. I just flew off my car. Full speed. That was a good pass from AJ to find me there. Was smart. To look for me again, having that vision. I got a little bit faked by whatever they did there. It's weird how, like... In threes, you see it the most, but like mistakes on the other team and like weird stuff where the other team looks a little bit confused with what they want to do, it kind of messes you up more than if they were organized and coordinated, if that makes sense. Like just like the weird stuff is like harder, harder to play against than someone who's like really good, really consistent and just like always does the right thing. It's harder to play against the, the teams that make more mistakes. It's weird. It's so weird. I don't understand why Rocket League's that way. Play it off the back wall. He's going to have to waste boost. Get a touch over to my team again. Nice. Play back. 50 boost here. Could be huge if I get a good touch here. That was a huge pre-jump. How did he get there? Should have went for a demo. Would have been nice. Would have been no one middle here. The double. There we go. Good cutoff. Good goal. This feels so easy on the Fennec. I'm still deciding if I want to use this car or Octane. I might just switch between the two. Whatever I'm feeling on a day-to-day. -day. I 
Nice shot from AJ. I'm gonna grab this back corner. I'll be third man. I can fake this ball. I don't need a challenge. I waste my position right away. Should be okay. Get it over him. I hold on to my 40 boost here so I can make a play. That's pretty good. AJ can control. I'll be back third man now. And AJ can make his play forward. Pretty good try. I'm going to wait because, again, I am third. I don't want to waste my position right away. Let me just slow down some pace here. I'll go back now for the boost because I know that it's safe. Trust AJ on that clear. That's good for us. I don't have to waste any boost here. Like, I'm trying to play as patient as possible in these situations because there really is no downside. It's not like they're going to do much with these shots. That's why I'm not panicking. To my teammates up. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Again, I gotta kill some time here, but it's fine. I don't need to, I don't need to make a play forward. There's no need to. Just pre-jumping the, the shot attempt. No real danger again. He's gonna be there for that. If I can get a kill, it'd be nice. Bumped him. It's not the touch he wanted. Got the bump again on the back wall guy. We'll bump again, maybe. <laughs> I'm taking the boost now. I trust Garrett. He saves these. Nice. Ooh, the double attempt. I like it. So the one thing you can see me do every single time in a situation, if I know I'm last back, I'm not going to jump right away and waste my position. There's no point. Might as well stay grounded and try to just get a touch that's going to delay time for your team. So like right here, same thing. I'm not going to go for a shot. Why would I? I'm going to let my teammates get behind me. AJ went for that, so it's going to be a dangerous situation for a sec, but it's okay. Can wait back here. He's going to have this probably, but it's fine. We're just going to sit here. AJ has behind me. Nothing to worry about really, because if he dribbles that, I have the block. If not, it's over me and AJ's a free save. Play it over two. Over to Garrett's side. He's going to win that ball. Placement. Close. And that's going to be game. But you played really smart that game. We played really smart that game as a team. Oh, I think I was scoring that. That was clean. I right. hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night, whatever time it is when you're watching this. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love y'all. Peace.